Alright guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Michael Belisarek. I make videos about my life and things that I find interesting as well. Stay tuned to the very end of the video so that you guys can figure out who the winners are for the 1,000 subscriber mark that we hit like two, two videos ago. And once again guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we're almost to another 2,000 or another thousand which would equal two thousand <laughs> uh, but yeah thank you guys once again shout out to Natalie for helping out uh, Alyssa for helping out as well and the, the fancy Navajo uh, for giving to the giveaway as well guys follow them all their social media will be linked on the bottom as well now the other day I was sitting on Instagram or Facebook I saw this meme or something like that that said some of you guys don't know the struggle of sitting at the coffee table or whatever and doing math with your parents and someone ended up crying. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but it made me laugh because I was like, man, is math really that hard? Uh, I'm teaching math this year, so leave a comment below letting me know if math is easy for you or if it's hard for you. Uh, for myself, it's easy and sometimes I take advantage of that and sometimes I, uh, I expect other people to kind of get it. But being a math teacher, I understand that the struggle is there. <laughs> and one of the hardest things for people to see is this. What is 20% of 60? So a lot of times, people can't physically and mentally do that in their head. So as a teacher, I have to be able to show them. Now I can show them the traditional algorithm, which is super easy for myself, but it's not easy for a lot of those visual learners. And so this is how I break it down for them. So first of all, uh, we figure out what our whole number is, and our whole number is going to be 60. That's the number that we have. That's the number that we start out with. So we're just going to relate that to money because everybody likes money. So we're going to say that we have $60. So this is going to represent $60. That whole thing is worth $60. I'm going to break it up in 10 equal slots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you're asking, well, where'd that 10 come from? I'm just gonna use 10 because 10 will go into 60 very easy, evenly, and it's very basic math as well. So 60, I'm gonna divide that by 10. You can use fives, you can use twos, but it would be a lot smaller squares. But I'm gonna use 10 because it's easy math and it's easy to draw, really. <laughs> and so every time that I divide it, whatever number I get is gonna go into each individual square there. So I can do that math right now. 60 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is going to be 6. So each square is going to be 6. Because we said this was $60, that means these are going to be $6 each. And if we add these all up, it will equal $60, okay? But the question is asking specifically, what is 20%? Now, because we used the number 10 to break it down, so each one of these slots is going to represent 10%. So we're gonna go ahead and label that 10%. So each one of those individual squares will obviously represent 10%. So we're trying to find 20%. So we know that this is 10, 20. So we're gonna come here and draw a line, and I'm gonna add up those two squares and that's going to give me 20 percent so six plus six is going to be 12. so i know that 12 dollars because each one of these is worth six dollars because we broke it from 60. so 12 dollars is going to be 20 percent of 60. so i can go ahead and write 12 dollars is 20 percent of we don't know how to put a question mark there, of 60, okay? So what that means is from here to here, it's going to leave us 80%. Now, you can do that mentally, or you can go off to the side, and you can just go ahead and say 60, subtract 12. So I have $48 left okay so that's the way I show the students to do 
this specific problem if they can't do the traditional algorithm way, which is super easy as well for most people. But there's a lot of visual learners out there and they have to be able to see something to divide it into another thing and just be able to see it that way. So this is the way I teach the people that need to see visually and break things down instead of a traditional algorithm way. Um, I never had an issue with math growing up. It's always been my strong part in learning. So uh, when I do teach it, I have to realize that most of the students don't see it the way I do, so I had to break it down to an easier way. And teaching these last five and a half years has helped me teach it better. And yeah, as, as simple as it can get, guys. But leave a comment below, like I said, letting me know whether you're good at math or you're bad at math. My daughter is in the other room playing the piano, so let's go check them out. get dinner started we're gonna have tortillas and steak tonight so as I'm making this dough I'm gonna show you a clip that I made about a year year and a half ago for justice I don't know if you remember her but for her Navajo class she had to do a specific video or some sort of article that was specifically all in Navajo and the reason why I'm gonna show you this is because a Norman Norman shouted us out and challenged us like do you know your Navajo I obviously don't know enough Navajo to say yeah I know Navajo enough to make a video but these students did what Justice and her friends did. So here's their video that I did for them about a year, year and a half ago as well. So super cool, super funny, I think, as well. But here it is.
Tafar, El Kitchen, the dinner. Total, Ashen, Ted, a dead Nishle. Yadilla, Tafa Jongo, do less. She, Tota. Hanko, she, La, ah, ha, Joel. Tin, tin. Oh, yeah, Nadine. I should come. She Oh, Alright guys, so I don't want to butcher anybody's names for the giveaway. So all four winners, your Instagrams are going to be in the video right here. So if any of these are you, go ahead and uh, look at your inbox. I'll be contacting you as well to let you know which prize you want, but also where you want to send it or maybe we can meet up as well. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And guys, let's get to that 2000 mark as well. Peace. We'll see you in the next one.